Karen Joy Fowler's seventh novel, We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves, was published in 2013 and received critical acclaim. The book won the prestigious P. E. N. Faulkner Award for Fiction and was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize the following year. Fowler drew inspiration from a real-life 1930s experiment, which led her to explore the moral implications of using animals for research purposes. The novel is narrated by Rosemary Cook, who employs a non-linear narrative that weaves in flashbacks to recount her and her siblings' lives. The story begins with Rosemary navigating college life, feeling disconnected from her parents and missing her two absent siblings. One day in the cafeteria, she gets entangled in a fight between Harlow and Reg, and impulsively sides with Harlow, landing both of them in jail, a behavior uncharacteristic of Rosemary. Her father, Vince, bails her out and persuades her to return home for Thanksgiving. During the family gathering, tensions arise, especially regarding Vince. Rosemary's mother hands her old journals, which Vince intended to donate to a library. The content of these journals is a sensitive subject that the family prefers to keep silent about, making Rosemary apprehensive. Unfortunately, her bag with the journals gets lost during her journey back to her apartment, which she shares with her friend Todd. To her surprise, she discovers that Harlow has been staying in her absence. The next day, the apartment manager informs Rosemary that a man claiming to be her brother had visited her. This encounter opens up a new chapter in Rosemary's life, uncovering long-held family secrets and forcing her to confront her past. Rosemary is taken aback when she chooses to attend UC Davis, as it was the last place her brother, Lowell, was traced by the FBI 10 years ago. To avoid suspicion, she tells the apartment manager that his name is Travers. Lowell is wanted by the FBI for his involvement with the Animal Liberation Front. The airline mistakenly delivers the wrong bag to Rosemary, and upon opening it with Harlow's insistence, they find a ventriloquist dummy. Rosemary discloses to the reader that her missing sister is actually a chimpanzee named Fran. Her parents, both psychologists, raised the chimp as Rosemary's twin sister, and Vince, along with a team of graduate students, conducted studies on the pair. This unconventional upbringing has left Rosemary struggling with feelings of jealousy. With Lowell in town, suppressed memories from her childhood begin to resurface, especially after a lecture on the violence females face in chimp society. After the lecture, Rosemary meets up with Harlow at a bar, where they indulge in drugs and a wild night out. The intoxication triggers Rosemary's memories of an upsetting incident involving a stolen kitten given to Fern, which resulted in the chimp's departure. However, Rosemary's family's silence leaves her questioning her own recollections. During the night at the bar, Rosemary briefly spots her brother but is later taken to jail to sober up with Harlow. The next day, she desperately searches for the lost dummy, her bike, and her brother. Todd informs her that her brother came looking for her but ended up having dinner with Harlow instead. The long-awaited reunion with Lowell is disappointing as he seems more interested in flirting with Harlow than reconnecting with Rosemary. During a one-on-one -on -one conversation, Lowell dominates the discussion with his views on animal ethics, leaving Rosemary concerned about his well-being. He reveals that Fern has been living in a poorly treated lab since their family gave her away. Lowell decides to go off the grid and asks Rosemary to watch over Fern. When Rosemary inquires why Fern had to leave, he explains that their parents had to choose between them when Rosemary was five. After a passionate one-night stand, Harlow falls deeply in love with Lowell and disappears, likely joining the Animal Liberation Front. During Christmas break, Rosemary and her parents finally address their past. Some of Rosemary's guilt is absolved, and she gains a new perspective on their history. Tragically, Rosemary's father passes away, and she and her mother relocate to South Dakota to be close to Fern. Eventually, Lowell gets arrested. Rosemary becomes a teacher and incorporates a unit on chimps into her curriculum, taking her classes to visit the lab. Her mother volunteers there, providing Fern with her favorite foods. Together, they transform the mother's old journals into children's books. The profits from these publications go towards expanding the outdoor space for the chimps at the lab. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.